Hi, this is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast, where CEOs, CMOs, and communications experts and leaders share their real advice. It's six questions under nine minutes because we get to it real fast. So let's get to it. I'm thrilled to have today's guest on. In a few sentences, could you please tell us who you are and what you do, Tara? Hi, I'm Tara Tate. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at JLab Audio. And um, we're a local San Diego company that's growing quickly in the audio world. Fantastic. And I've heard about the brand for many years. Oh, for the last few years, definitely follow you guys around on LinkedIn. And you're doing some amazing things from everything that I'm seeing um, in the news as well. What would you say is the best thing about being a leader in your space? Yeah, I think um, being in the consumer technology space, it's it's already challenging, technology is changing, things are being updating, um, you know, and so it's super exciting to be part of that industry as a whole. And then for us, what's exciting is we get to innovate at prices, you know, making that technology accessible to everyday consumers. So, um, you know, we don't charge an arm and a leg for, leg for our product. Um, we make it super affordable, um, but still give people a lot of great technology. Absolutely. Um, off, you guys offer such great products and um, really excited to chat with you a little bit more today. You know, I hear Tara from other um, leaders that creating authentic connections can be challenging when it's really noisy. And you've alluded to, it could be customers, it could be employees, partners, vendors, et cetera. What's your take on that? Yeah, it is challenging. And I think for JLab, it's more important than ever um, because the technology world can be kind of impersonal. Um, you know, we may, we have always made it kind of part of our mission to be accessible, not only from a pricing standpoint, but from a consumer standpoint. So um, for instance, when Kramer, our CEO, he's responding to people on Twitter and he's um, getting outreach on Twitter and talking to people and um, another big, I think, important piece of that is being accessible to the consumer um, after the product purchase. So um, we don't hide our telephone number. We publish it. We encourage people to call in if they want. Um, but making that more accessible from a consumer standpoint is, is super important. Um, from a marketing standpoint, we've really prioritized responding to consumers on social media. Um, because we feel like it's so important to be accessible to them there. And so, you know, if someone sees anywhere from like our, our Facebook ads to um, someone commenting on a, on a post um, because they had a product break or something like that, we make it um, super important to respond to customers on an individual basis. So, um, and then being authentic you know, I think that's something that we're really good at naturally, just because we've started small um, and we really nurture the kind of consumer feedback. And so that's really part of our process. If someone has, um, you know, a challenge with the product and they tell us about it, sometimes we can fix that. And by the next production run a month or two later, the next consumer won't experience that. So it's just uh, constantly like evolving. Mm -hmm. I love that. You had a lot of really great points. And to your point around social media, especially now, um, it seems like there's been an uptick even more on social media and, and consumers are engaging with brands at really unprecedented speeds and rates. And you've got to be on top of it because you don't want to have a one-way communication with your customer, right? You need to be hearing from them and incorporating what they are saying. And uh, to your point, also elevating and refining based on feedback as well. So that, that's really um, great advice. And do you have any other real advice for other leaders? Is there anything else that you think is really important? Yeah, I think that listening piece is like, is really important, whether it's your staff or it's the consumer. I think listening, um, you know, swallowing your pride sometimes and taking that feedback is super important. So um, listening, I think for me personally, something I am, I always struggle with is um, patience, just having some patience. Um, and, you know, that's really just advice for me is, you know, have patience to um, 
with your team. You know, this this industry is so fast moving and marketing is so fast moving that the combination is like, go, go, go. Um, so that's something that I struggle with and want to work on. No, that's great advice. I love it. And you're right. I think we're getting pulled into different directions too, whether it's internally or externally and everything's moving so fast. So that's a great um, piece of advice to just really, sometimes you just have to take a breath and have the patience and say, okay, well, it's fine. Yeah. Just going to handle it. It'll be good. <laughs> Very cool. Well, are there any other successful executives such as yourself that you would like to give a shout out to or think should be on this podcast? Yep, I, um, you know, J Lab CEO Win Kramer is is amazing. From you know, like his his vision, he's got such a product mind, um, and he's super personable. Um, and and you know, he prioritizes people, um, which is really how he's built the company is looking for good people um, to work here. So he's a great resource for. Um, for innovation and I think managing people. Awesome, yeah, he sounds um, and appears to be pretty inspiring and a great leader in addition to being visionary. Very yeah. cool. Well, um, our last question is more of a fun one. You've had a pretty dynamic career, but can you tell us about your first job? Yeah, my first job was um, working at my dad's um, optometry practice in Wyoming. So I learned how to, um, to, I was basically like an optician where you adjust people's glasses and um, fix, you can fix lenses and kind of do some of that stuff. So um, I really enjoyed that. It was, it was a good perspective, um, good business perspective. And um, yeah, it was fun. Nice, nice. Great way to get started. Mm -hmm. Well, how could people get a hold of you or learn more about what you're doing? Yeah, I think LinkedIn is a great place to, um, you know, to kind of follow JLab, you can always follow us, sign up for our newsletters, um, you know, on jlabaudio.com. So either of those places are great. Perfect. Well, really appreciate you joining today. And um, thanks everyone for tuning in. This is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast. For more insights, visit us at crowpr.com. Thanks so much.